What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you the top artists of all time. All of these are in my opinion. They're the artists I listened to for years and I've grown to love and enjoy all the music that they put out. So let's just get right into it with Avril Lavigne. You might not know I'm an Avril Lavigne fan, always have been. I really love her music. Her music is amazing. Back in the day, I used to listen to Complicated and Skater Boy back whenever she was up and coming. Honestly, everybody loved her back then, but I just continued to love her. I love a lot of the music she put out. Of course, every artist, there's a couple songs that you might not like 100%, but you still respect her as an artist. I loved her vocals. I loved everything about her music. Her music had meaning, and that's what I really love whenever I listen to music is I hope there's meaning behind whatever songs they're doing, and her songs were always meaningful to me at least. I even recently picked up her first album from a yard sale, and I'm really happy I found it and added it to my collection because you guys know I collect CDs. Next up is Ozzy Osbourne. You might not know this one as well, but I'm an Ozzy Osbourne fan. I used to listen to a lot of his music back in the day. I don't listen to it as much now, but I still love him and respect him as an artist nonetheless. He's a great artist in my opinion, that's why he's on this list. I used to listen to Crazy Train all the time, and people will know him by Crazy Train. If you haven't heard of Ozzy Osbourne for some strange reason, you've probably heard of the song Crazy Train. He's had a lot of songs over the years. He was a member of Black Sabbath. And he's going to go down in the history as one of my greatest artists. Next up, you might not be aware, but I'm a huge fan of Noah Cyrus. I love that she's releasing new music right now. I love all of her music. I love everything she's pretty much released so far. A lot of people might look at me and think I might not listen to her type of music or I never would. Honestly, I didn't think I would, but her voice is so amazing in my opinion. I love it. I love a lot of her songs. I've never really been into pop, but I really love Noah Cyrus's style. She's not 100% pop in my opinion. She's a mix of a whole bunch of different genres, at least from what I can hear. And that's what I really enjoy in artists when they can mix up different genres and create pretty much their own original genre. I think that's really special when artists can do that. I love all of her music and that's why she's on this list. Next up is Billy Joel. Again, you guys might not be aware, I used to listen to Billy Joel all the time. I know that is kind of pop and it's a mix of other stuff, but to me, still rock and roll is still one of my favorite songs of all time. I do love a lot of his music. I have the essential of Billy Joel CD in my collection. I'm a huge fan of his. I think I always will be. It is a little bit of pop from back in the day, but to me, he makes it work and it is really special. I love his voice. I love the talent behind him. Back in high school, I had a project with my English teacher and it was for the song, We Didn't Start a Fire. We had to listen to that and watch the music video. And to me, that was a really meaningful song, even though it was really fast and jumpy and he just rhymed different things from the decades that meant the most to him. To me, that's what it was about. We did so many projects on it of what the modern day decade would be and we chose our favorite things to put in the songs and that, that that really grew my love and interest to Billy Joel. That's why I started to listen to more of his music because of my English teacher back in high school. So I really appreciate that. And that's why he's on this list. Next up is Kurt Cobain. I've listened to him all the time. I've listened to him from back in the day. I do have a couple of his albums. I recently picked up one again at a yard sale. One of my favorite albums by them was Nevermind. And everybody loves that album in my opinion. They've heard at least one song off of it. Most of the time it's been Smells Like Teen Spirit because they used to play that all the time and that is the number one song by Nirvana that people know and love. Sadly he passed away in the 90s and I think they brought that case back out because they don't think it was suicide, which I never really thought it was anyways, but that is why he's on my list. Next up is Eminem. I've listened to him since his first album. Unfortunately, that is the only album I am missing from my Eminem collection of his CDs. I have every other CD that he's ever put out in my collection other than Infinite. I am hoping to find it in the future. I've been looking for the past two years. I can't even find it anywhere online. Eminem, in my opinion, is going to go down to history as one of the top, if not the best, rapper ever. Just because what he can flow whenever he's trying to rhyme. His songs mean the most. I know a lot of people don't like and don't listen to a lot of his newest stuff. I'm not a fan of all of it. I know on Revival, the one song I did not like was Untouchable, but that was just me and my opinions. I still think he's a great artist nonetheless. I hope he releases more music to come. He used to be my favorite rapper in high school. He used to be the only rapper I used to listen to high school. 
I used to listen to his music nonstop on repeat. So he's on this list because I had so many memories with him and I had so many friends of mine that used to listen to him as well. And we used to just rock and we hung out together with his songs and that. So it meant a lot to me. And last on my list is the top artist in the world, in my opinion. And that is Chester Bennington. Sadly, he passed away last year. Honestly, I love Linkin Park. I love everything Chester is about. I know he had problems and I know that's what caused him to commit suicide. But he was a great artist, always have been. He's always going to be my top artist. He's always, always going to be my top artist. And I just love the music. I love the message they brought out in their songs. I love everything they're about. I love that they could go from screaming to really soft and back and forth. There was some rapping. There was a lot of collaborations over the years. His voice was amazing. Even though he screamed in a lot of his songs, you could understand him fully. It wasn't him screaming to the point that it was unrecognizable of what he was trying to say. So to me, when an artist can do that, it means a lot. But these are the top artists in my opinion. A lot of these artists you guys might not have known that I listened to a lot of the first ones I mentioned. But these are the top artists in my opinion. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.